Interesting. Um, museum in a Box is a program we've been running for a long, long time. It is literally a museum in a box. Um, and it covers a multitude of sins. Um, <laughs> I said back at home, I said, that slide isn't displaying properly. And my wonderful team said, yes, it is. <laughs> and no, it isn't. <laughs> it says combined with video conferencing. So the, the box, has this got a pointer on it? Yeah. Which one? Ah, the box, that's a, that's a typical box for museum in a box. And the content is this sort of stuff. They are themed, um, they are literally a museum in a box, they're real specimens, they're learning stuff, there's DVDs, notes, and increasingly we have, oh, I don't know, nearly 200 boxes now, I think. Um, they t travel all over the state, they have gone to Alaska, um, for, and we, if you guys wanted to borrow one for whatever to play with, talk to us. Um, but it's a good way of taking a mini museum on a particular theme to another place. And Increasingly, we've found people, particularly government agencies with a message, wanting to fund a box. You've got a government agency, in the case of Sydney, our Sydney Water, our Water Distribution Authority, and our Environment Protection Authority, both want to get to school kids. Their missions overlap with ours. It was a good partnership to work with them to develop some theme boxes. So Sydney Water sponsored a whole swag of new boxes around water management and rivers, um, really good. And it's making sure we both meet respective objectives. We, don't, we would never agree to just do something that suited them but not us. Um, and so it's, it's um, working around, uh, <laughs> interesting, that shaping discussion in society. Um, there are subversive ways of doing that. Um, the way, one of the ways we look at school, school education and Jurassic Lounge, 18 to 35 year olds, is shaping the opinions of those who will shape the opinion of society in future. Interestingly, we did some audience research around um, climate change about 18 months ago now. And in very short summary, it showed school kids strong understand and believe that human-induced climate change is occurring. Their parents don't and don't believe the school kids. Um, or a significant chunk of that. So it's, but those school kids will be parents. And so how you work with, to sh to, it's, it's a slightly subversive, is the wrong word. Insidious is also a wrong word. A progressive way of shaping opinion of society by getting to particular groups. Um, okay, we also use our museum scientists of various sorts work with, um, that they will be in the museum with one of our educators with any number of schools out there with particular boxes that relate to that. That's our portable unit in operation at the moment. That's Laura, one of our Aboriginal staff members, um, working. It's a very simple little portable unit. See that that's all the camera is. There's a screen there. Um, she's got the laptop and or the desktop. I don't know which one she's using there for the connection, but she'll have the matrix of all the schools there and uh, working and, and manage the schools are getting better and better at, um, at working with this sort of technology as well.